Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Erudi Space. I am Dr. Samandarsan Mahanti and today we will discuss about the two stroke cycle spark ignition engine. First I will give a brief introduction. Why it is a two stroke cycle spark ignition engine. Then I will discuss about the different engine components. Then I will give you a brief idea about the engine nomenclature. Then I will tell you how the four stroke cycle engine works so that you can compare the two stroke cycle engine with four stroke cycle engine. Then I will explain in detail the operation of a two stroke cycle engine. Then we will discuss the major advantages and disadvantages of two stroke cycle engine in comparison with the four stroke cycle engine. So coming to the introduction, why we call it a two stroke cycle engine? We call it a two stroke cycle engine because it is completed in two strokes or a single revolution of the crankshaft. We call it a spark ignition engine because the ignition of the compressed air fuel mixture takes place by means of an electric spark. It is also known as your petrol engine because invariably the spark ignition engines are your petrol engines. We call it an internal combustion engine because the combustion of the fuel takes place inside the engine cylinder. Unlike the steam engine which is an external combustion engine because in that case the combustion of fuel takes place outside the engine cylinder. Now we will discuss the essential components of the two stroke internal combustion engine. Some of the components are shown in the figure and some are not shown but I will explain in detail the function of each of the components. First one is your cylinder and this is the cylinder and inside the cylinder the piston reciprocates. Then you do have a connecting rod. Connecting rod actually connects the piston with that of the crankshaft. Then you do have a piston pin or gudgeon pin which actually gives connection between the piston and the connecting rod. Then you have the crankshaft which rotates inside the crankcase. This is the crankcase. Crankcase actually provides housing to the crankshaft. Then you have flywheel. The flywheel has not been shown in the figure. What is the function of a flywheel? Flywheel actually works as an energy accumulator. It stores the energy developed during the bar stroke and supplies the same during the idle stroke. Then carburetor has not been shown the function of a carburetor that it prepares the air fuel mixture and supplies the same to the engine depending upon the requirement. The ratio of the fuel air do vary depending upon the condition. Then you do have a spark plug which is used to ignite the compressed air fuel mixture. I have taken the same diagram to discuss the engine nomenclature. First one is bore. The inside diameter of the engine cylinder is what we call your bore. And if the clearance provided between the piston and the cylinder is neglected, the bore is also the diameter of the piston. Stroke is actually the distance traversed by the piston in moving from one dead center to another. So, it may be from top dead center to bottom dead center or vice versa. So, what is top dead center? Top dead center is the topmost position the piston can reach 
and it is also known as your TDC. Bottom dead center is the bottommost position the piston can reach, and it is also known as BDC. In case of horizontal engines, the dead centers are known as inner dead center and outer dead center. Clearance volume is the space between the cylinder head and the TDC. Swept volume is actually the volume swept by the piston in moving from top dead center to bottom dead center. Compression ratio is the ratio between the total cylinder volume divided by the clearance volume. The total cylinder volume includes the swept volume and the clearance volume put together. Then mean effective pressure. Mean effective pressure is a very important parameter to measure the performance of internal combustion engine. Although the pressure never remains constant, we take into consideration the mean value of the pressure. Then we will briefly discuss the operation of a four-stroke cycle engine so that you can easily compare the operation of a two-stroke cycle engine with that of your four-stroke cycle engine. The four operations of a four-stroke cycle engine are suction, compression, expansion and adjust. In suction, the piston moves from TDC to BDC and as the piston moves from TDC to BDC, the inlet valve is opened and as there is increase in volume, there is drop in pressure. As a result, the air fuel mixture prepared in the carburetor is drawn into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve and the process is completed once the piston reaches the bottom dead center position. The second one is known as your compression stroke. In the compression stroke, the piston moves from BDC to TDC, thereby compressing the charge to the clearance volume. And during the compression stroke, both the inlet and adjust valves are in closed position. And just before the compression process is over, the spark plug gives an electric spark which is actually used to ignite the compressed air fuel mixture. Due to compression, the temperature and pressure of the charge is significantly raised and once it comes in contact with the spark, combustion takes place and huge amount of thermal and pressure energy is developed. So in expansion stroke, both the inlet as well as adjust valves are in closed position and due to combustion of the air fuel mixture, huge amount of thermal and pressure energy is developed which pushes the piston to move from TDC to BDC. It is also known as your power stroke because the entire power is developed during the expansion stroke. The last one is your adjust stroke. In the adjust stroke, the inlet valve is in closed position. but the adjust valve is opened. Here the piston moves from BDC to TDC, thereby expelling the burnt air fuel mixture, which is incapable of producing any more power to leave the system. We have discussed the four stroke cycle engine so that we can compare the operation of a two stroke cycle engine with that of your four stroke cycle engine. The two strokes in case of two stroke cycle engine are known as up stroke and down stroke. So this is an operating two stroke cycle engine. So when the piston is moving from BDC to B TDC, this is known as your up stroke. And when the piston moves from TDC to BDC, it is known as your down stroke. Already we have discussed the different components, but to brush up your memory, let me see the different components. You do have a spark plug here. This is the piston. This one is 
the connecting rod this one is the piston pin or gudgeon pin then you do have the crankshaft and you do have three ports inlet port then exhaust port and then your transport port you have the crankcase which is actually housing the crankshaft in two stroke cycle engine also you do have admission of the charge into the engine you do have the compression of the charge in the engine cylinder you do have combustion and expansion you do have removal of the burnt air fuel mixture through the exhaust port but all these things are completed in only two strokes which are known as your up stroke and down stroke let us discuss this up stroke and down stroke one by one you can see that as the piston is moving from TD, bdc to tdc it actually uncovers the inlet port and through the inlet port the air fuel mixture prepared in the carburetor is drawn into the crankcase simultaneously as the piston is moving from bdc to tdc it compresses the charge present on the top of the piston to clearance volume how the charge actually enters the top of the piston that will discuss in the down stroke in down stroke as i have already told you that piston moves from tdc to bdc so as it moves from tdc to bdc it uncovers the exhaust port and the burnt air fuel mixture is removed through this exhaust port in the same process as the piston moves from tdc to bdc it actually uncovers the transfer port and the compressed charge from the crankcase enters the top of the piston through this transfer port so in this way you have suction compression and expansion as well as adjust taking place in two strokes or single evolution of the crankshaft now after seeing this you can easily visualize how the two stroke cycle engine actually operates now we will come to the major advantages and disadvantages of two stroke si engine in comparison with the four stroke si engine first one it is simpler in design i have already told you that you do not have valve arrangement when it comes to two stroke cycle engine you do have the port arrangement so as valve arrangement is not there there is no question of valve actuating mechanism due to this the two stroke engines are simpler in comparison with the four stroke cycle engine the two stroke cycle engine is more powerful compared to the four stroke cycle engine all of us know that in two stroke cycle engine in two strokes you are having one power stroke so definitely more power is developed in case of two stroke cycle engine compared to four stroke cycle engine theoretically it is twice the power that is developed in case of your four stroke cycle engine but in actual case it is less than that it is cheaper you do not have valve arrangement you do not have valve actuating arrangement so as lesser number of components are there it is cheaper in comparison with the four stroke cycle si engine coming to the major disadvantages it gives less fuel efficiency the reason for that is in case of two stroke si engine you do not have a separate stroke for exhaust so some person of the charge leaves the system without being burnt so for that reason it gives less fuel efficiency compared to the four stroke cycle engine 
the two stroke cycle engine gives higher pollution compared to four stroke cycle engine what is the reason for that because majority of the two stroke cycle engines do adopt petrol oil lubrication system where the lubricants are mixed with the fuel the burning of the lubricants causes more pollution that's why the two stroke cycle engines give higher pollution compared to four stroke cycle engine the two stroke cycle engines operate at very high speeds so when the speed is higher there will be more wear and tear and due to this the two stroke cycle engines are less durable compared to the four stroke cycle engine so now after watching this video your concept about two stroke cycle engine is expected to be crystal clear i have given you detailed information related to the uh, engine nomenclature the components the operation of four stroke cycle engine the operation of two stroke cycle engine in details the advantages as well as disadvantages i must extend my sincere gratitude for watching this video please do like and comment on this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have if you have not done so thank you